Number one asks us to find solutions to each of these equations or explain why there is no solution. So we're gonna isolate this radical part because we can't get the five or the X out from under there or bring anything in with it. So we're gonna subtract this seven from both sides so that we get this um, root isolated or by itself. So seven minus seven is zero, 10 minus seven is three. This allows us to be able to square this whole side and square this side. So we're gonna square both sides. And when we square a square root, that will cancel it. It'll get us back that inside piece. So the radical and the exponent are gone. So we're left with X plus five equals three times three, which is nine. And then we can subtract five so that we can isolate the X and get that X equals four. And then you can always plug it back in. Four plus five is nine. The square root of nine is three. Three plus seven is 10 to check that your, um, that your number is in fact a solution. So for part B, we'll subtract three from both sides to isolate the radical. So then we'll get the square root of X minus two equals negative five. And this is not possible, okay? Because we can't have our roots equal to a negative number. So um, there's no solution here. So a square root cannot equal a negative number. Number two for each equation, decide how many solutions it has and explain how you know. So anything squared um, equaling to a positive number, this is gonna have two solutions, okay? Because we could have a positive or a negative solution here. This inside could equal a positive or a negative number, in this case, five because if this middle part equals positive five squared is 25 or negative five squared is 25. Um, so this one's gonna have two solutions because it's a squared equal to a positive number. This next one is gonna have one solution because anytime you have the square root of a number equal to a positive, um, that's going to have one solution. So a square root is always equal to a positive solution. Um, and an X cubed, so we can add seven to both sides if we wanted to and get X cubed equals negative 13. This one's also going to have one solution because remember when it has an odd degree exponent, Okay, if you put a positive cubed, it's positive. If you put a negative cubed, it's negative. So you're only gonna get one solution um, when you have something cubed equal to a negative number. So just one solution there. And then a cube root of something equals to zero. Again, only gonna be one solution. The only thing that we have the cube root equal to zero would be if this is zero. So for number three, it says Jada is solving the equation square root of six minus X equals negative 16. She was about to square each side, but then realized she could give the answer without doing any algebra. So what did she realize? Well, she realized that she had a square root equal to a negative number and that's not possible. So then that means that there's no solution to this. So she doesn't need to go any further. So no solution. Number four, here are the steps Tyler took to solve the equation square root of X plus three equals negative five. Um, so it looks like he squared both sides. So then square root of X plus three squared is just the inside X plus three. Negative five squared is 25, then subtracted three from both sides um, to get 22. So check Tyler's answer. Okay, so he got 22. So check 22 in here. So 22 plus three, the square root of 25, is that equal to negative five? And that's no, because the square root of 25 is positive five. So his solution does not work. And what um, mistake did he make? He made the mistake right here 
of not recognizing that he had a square root equal to a negative number. So he shouldn't have squared both sides. So you can't have a square root that equals a negative number. It means no solution. Number five, complete the table using powers of 16 on the top row and radicals or rational numbers in the bottom row. So anything to the first power is just itself. So this is 16. Um, four is the square root of 16, okay? And the power for square root is one half. So then this one to the one third power will be the third root of 16, which isn't a nice number. So we'll just leave it as a radical. Anything to the zero power is one. Then we recognize um, that four and one fourth are reciprocals of each other. So that just means that we're going to have the negative exponent of this one. Number six, what are the solutions to the equation x cubed equals 35? Well, to undo a cubed exponent, we just do a cube root. So it's just going to be x equals the cube root of 35. And it's not going to be both solutions because if we cube a negative number, it's negative. Um, and our solution here is positive. So we're going to want the positive root of 35 only.